smile. You've been on holiday or living elsewhere in a nice hot country, getting a tan. How do you feel coming back to this country, hearing about this water disaster? I mean, the situation with privatised water is a national disgrace. I agree with, I think, basically every single word of your monologue. We've been taken for an enormous scam mm. since 1989 with the privatisation. In that time, bills are up 40% in real terms. Mm. They were, these companies were given away, public assets were given away. 70% uh, of the shareholders are owned by overseas shareholders. They had no debts. Now they have £60 billion mm. in debts. They paid out £72 billion in uh, dividends. And we were told that privatised water would be more efficient. It's not more efficient. We can see that with the pollution mm. and with the bills going up and that there'd be lots of investment. But actually there's... 15% less investment than there was when it was under public ownership. And I think you're quite right that these companies are worthless and they should be taken back into the public hands. And if the um, shareholders and the executives don't like it, well, then we should have very, very serious legal challenges against mm. them for the damage to our health, the damage to our natural resources. It is absolutely despicable. And the thing I find completely baffling is that this is so obvious. This is so mm. common sense. You know, often you and I, we're on different sides of an argument here. We are absolutely in lockstep. And mm. I think the vast majority of the British people would be in the same position. And yet neither of our main parties are remotely close to talking about it. They both want to carry on with slightly tweaked versions of the same system, hoping that off what this useless regulator mm. is going to somehow it's going to somehow fix things. Lizzie Cundy. I'm absolutely appalled. I agree mm. with everything you both have said. I mean, mm. the boat race has been going since 1856. And think today of what they can't even celebrate and go in the water because they're sca scared of catching E. coli and goodness knows what. <laughs> I, honestly, I think <laughs> this is, it is, is absolutely it is horrific. And to think there's executives at five of 11 water companies who, who have said they've got this, you know, they put their hands up, have still taken bonuses. This is an absolute disgrace. I'm calling it environmental vandalism. Mm -hmm. Nothing more. And it, it's, it, we have to do something about this. But the thing is, it's going on. They're getting away with this quite uh, quietly. And as James said, nobody's really talking about it. And I don't quite get why that is, why this is essential to life. Water is the one thing that we all need, irrespective of anything else. If we do not have water, we're in trouble. Yeah. So you, you could probably live on water for a little bit of time. Yeah. But without water, you are dead. So I, I just and, and it is ultimately it comes from the sky. You could collect your own water and create some sort of salination process or something in your own home and, and take the water from the sky. So I, I find it shocking that this isn't the top of the agenda. It should be. It should be. It, in every sense of the word. But like, why haven't the government intervened? Why hasn't anything been done about this? Uh, I mean, it is absolutely... I, can't, I haven't even got words. I'm so appalled of today. It is disgusting, then. James, I want to ask you, because you've come from abroad, having had a nice time in another hot country, mm -hmm. and come here with a tan, looking at us all, as, as we look mealy-mouthed and ill, <laughs> drinking <laughs> the water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what is the view? How, what, what is the respect levels towards this country like abroad? What are they thinking from where you've come from? What country have you come from, can you say? I've come from St Vincent oh, in, yeah. in the East oh, Caribbean. I wish I asked. <laughs> um, uh, and I, I, was, uh, I was on a um, Vincentian radio show on mm. Thursday and talking about the, the state of Britain and, and so on. And for them, it's a very real issue. Lots of incentions live here. It's important for mm. um, people sending money back and people coming back after they, they've retired. And the state of Britain is not a good advertisement for ourselves. I mean, you can see that. I, I mean, luckily with my work, I get to travel quite a lot. And the, the Britain status has really fallen mm. as you hear these stories. Our, our infrastructure doesn't work. Our public services don't work. And our, our, our rulers are basically laughing at us. I mean, the fact that these uh, water company CEOs who are paid over a million pounds mm. can take bonuses while what they are doing. I mean, they, they, shouldn't, they, sh they should say if they had any decency, they'd say I'm forfeiting my pay yeah. because clearly I've done a very bad job as CEO. Well, the shareholders but don't when, think so because they're getting dividends. Exactly. And that's why right. they don't want to give that's it up. The and in 2023, 45 million pounds in dividends mm. to poorly working companies. Yeah. Why? Why are we allowing mm. this to happen? 
action. We need to stop this and have a strong, independent, robust sort of audit in place to to, to stop this. We, we cannot go on. I don't even it's, think that. I just I don't even it's a think. National disaster. But we don't need to do any of these things. We can see that they're robbing us blind. Mm. They're taking the absolute proverbial and they're poisoning us. And I'm thinking. Where, and, where is the well, and, we've got a great for, and we've got a great opportunity to, to act because Thames Water's own shareholders mm. don't want to put in any more money, mm. which is threatening it with collapse. And they say, OK, well, we're going to put up the bills 40 percent. That is the perfect moment for Parliament to step in. And in a nationalisation, Parliament sets the share price. Mm. All of this stuff about we don't have money is nonsense, mm. because what you do is you swap government bonds for the private shares and the private share price should take into account the debt they've accumulated, mm. the amount they've paid themselves, how they have uh, damaged the infrastructure and the pollution and the fines that they should they should be getting. So the, the price that we can get this company, which basically doesn't function mm. as a private company, even though it's still making some people very rich, would be very low. Mm. So we actually have a real opportunity now. I, I, I was reading the newspaper this morning and uh, it said, you know, the government wants to get rid of a politically damaging nationalisation. I don't understand how it would be politically it's damaging. not at all. I think, I, I think if the government stepped in and said, right, this isn't working, we're going to take it over, we're not paying them very much, uh, if, you know, if any money. Mm. The, the whole canard they always put forward, oh, you know, it's all owned by pension funds, it's our own, it's our own pensions. 8.5% of the shares are owned by British pension funds, 70% are owned by overseas shareholders. It won't hurt us at all. To, mm -mm. to take it, take it <clears throat> forward. And I think the vast majority of people in the public would cheer. Yeah. And the people who live in areas outside of Tenswater and Anglia and so on and so forth would demand the same thing, and mm. they'll be right to. But we all need and deserve unpolluted water. Yeah. And sadly, who's going to be paying for this? It's a mm. good well, well, that's a, that's a good us, question. Yeah. And then they're expecting us to put... The, you're going to put the bills up by 40%. Listen, I'll tell you what, water companies, if you go and do that, and it's only England, by the way, because mm. in Scotland they've, they've had sense and in Wales, but if they're going to do that... We just won't pay. If nobody pays, then you're in right, trouble. Right. If everyone refuses to pay, and I'm not suggesting that people should break the law, but the bottom line is this, you need to sort out the water. And listen, Richie Sunak, if you're watching now, for God's sake, we nationalise the water. We're going to be doing a debate about that in a few moments' time. Uh, so get in touch, gbviews at gbnews.com. Now, a Thames water spokesperson said, we regard any untreated di discharges as unacceptable, really, and we're committed to stopping them from being necessary. <laughs> in what way? With the assistance of our regulators, storm discharges, charges are closely linked to rainfall and groundwater conditions and our region experienced above average rainfall for most of 2023 which saw an increase in the frequency and duration of the storm discharges from our sites compared to 2022. Yeah, this has been going on for years.